<clears throat> hey YouTube, this is Mystic Virgo 4444. Today is June the 19th, 2019. So what I'm going to do today is a timeless reading. And this question I'm wanting to ask the universe is, will I ever get married? So ladies, if you've never been married before, maybe this is a question you're asking yourself. Maybe you're up in age and you're late. 30s, early to mid 40s, and you're wondering, man, I've never been married. Am I ever going to get married, or, or am I always going to be a bridesmaid? So today, that's the question I'm going to focus on. Will I ever get married? And this is a timeless reading. So whenever you look at it, whether you look at it today, tomorrow, next year, next month, where whatever, it'll probably resonate with you if it if it catches your eye. If this doesn't resonate with you, look at the other videos I posted, and maybe they will resonate with you. But for the most part, uh, if you like the video, go ahead and, and hit subscribe, and also hit the bell button so you can be uh, automatically tagged in when I put up a new video. So now we're going to ask the universe today: Will I ever be married? So we will see. Will I ever be married? Or will I be forever a spinster? I'm not going to put that in there, but that's what they used to call women back in the day, spinsters. I don't know what they call them these days. I call us these days. So, will I ever get married? If this res like I said, if this video resonates with you, please uh, like and subscribe. And also share it with your friends. ever get married and I don't do reversal so if you see a reversal pop out I will turn it right <laughs> excuse me I will turn it right side up <clears throat> okay here we have looks like something is unbalanced with the six of pentacles maybe you want to balance out your life Ooh, I have here the eight of pentacles maybe you're working maybe this is work and life balance maybe you are working more and not getting out as much as you would like to. Or or maybe you're a hermit. Maybe you like to stay at home. I wouldn't be surprised at all if a hermit card pops up in the reading today. Uh, looks like you probably are, are, are a workaholic. Are you spending so much time at work that you don't really get out time time out to, to hang around to hang out with friends? Or uh, to go out on dates or to just go out by yourself and maybe have a fun. And have fun. Maybe have fun. Something's telling me to pull this one out here. Here, the Ace of Wands. So I'm going to put this back, this Ace of Wands, just in case it comes back out. We'll see. Okay, will I ever get married? I'm still trying to get over cold. So if, you, if I sniffle every now and again, excuse me ahead of time. Will I ever get married here? Huh? Looks like something. Yeah, I think the work and about work and life balance work and home balance is an issue right now uh, maybe you aren't um, spending as much time at home as you should because you're working and that, that's a good that's a good thing you're working you're not um, running the street or doing anything you're working to make a living we all do that if I guess from time to time so I have here the ace of cups it's like you have an offer coming in for, for something for, for whatever reason what is the I'm going to clarify the Ace of Cups right now. It's maybe an offer about home, something about your home, maybe your apartment or, or living situation, uh, an offer that's coming. Maybe from a strong person. Maybe this is you wanting to do something different with your life. Maybe you want to do something different with maybe maybe add something to your home. You're by yourself. You're um Wanting to, to looks like you're wanting to share your life with someone here in your home, but it, you're by yourself <clears throat> right now. You're single, so you don't have that person in your life. It's just you, and maybe this is you wanting to, to the addition you want to add to your household is a person who you can love and, and marry. So you 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 maybe you're you're a little lonely. Maybe maybe you want to. Um, Spend time with a significant other, maybe getting to know them. You're ready to step out. The Ace of Cups is saying you're willing to step out 
and uh, get to know somebody, stop working there, get out and have fun. You can't really meet anybody if you're constantly at home watching TV or, or, or doing whatever it is you're doing. If you're not out, out outside of your home partying and having a good time and running into potential mates, and maybe you, you had an argument or maybe you couldn't get along with the last person you were with. And that's probably why it ended. And you walked away from the situation because you didn't want to be in a relationship or an environment where you were being disrespected or where things wasn't working out between you and the person you were with. Uh, and maybe that, that's the past. But, but it's time for you to let that go. It's time for you just to start over again um, and find you somebody who you are equally equally yoked with somebody who you can uh, communicate with on a good level because right now you want to give yourself to someone you want to give your time and, and communication and you want to love someone but you can't because you have to hold on to what you have because what you have is too precious to give to just anybody okay yeah you have a lot going on for yourself working taking care of home taking care of business taking care of the bills all by yourself uh, you're making it. You're doing everything you need to do to survive. But you want that partner with you doing it with you. You're tired of doing everything on your own. You're tired of always being the one to have to work. But you want to walk away from this, this situation. You want to walk away. from I won't say loneliness, but you want to walk away from being just one. You want to add another partner, another person in your life. To help you along the path. You don't want to walk this path by yourself. You're tired of walking the path by yourself. You're tired of sleeping in bed alone by yourself at night. You want more in your life. You want a good wholesome person in your life. <clears throat> Excuse me. I totally understand that one. Yeah, it's just you focused on your money. And you right now you're focused on your money and you say, well, what else is there for me to focus on other than my money? I don't have a relationship. I don't have a man or I don't have a woman. What else am I supposed to focus on? I have to focus on, on my work so I can keep my home. You know, prices are rising. More mortgage rates are rise, rising. Rents are rising. Things aren't getting cheaper. They're getting more, more expensive. And I want to be able to bring someone in my life who can equally who I can equally yoke with so we can do this together. If this person is doing the same exact thing by themselves and I'm doing this stuff by myself and we can combine what we have, we can come up with something beautiful, something whole and unique, something we can work to work toward together as a couple. I knew this hermit card was going to come out. Excuse me. This hermit. I knew this hermit card was coming out. Um, you, sp you spend a whole lot of time by yourself, you know, um, because your life right now is in balance. You want it to be balanced. Yeah. But right now it can't be because you have to do everything on your own. You're working toward getting to that point in your life to where you're going to get tired. You're already tired, but you're getting to the point to where you want this to change. You're tired of doing it by yourself and you want more. You need more. You desire more. Um, and you are requesting from the universe to see you more. And that's a good thing that, that you're ready to, to be with somebody, to meet somebody, uh, settle down into a wholesome, loving and caring relationship. Equally, equally yoked when it comes to finances. Looks like there's an offer going to be coming your way. Um, ooh, let's right out. I have here the three of wands. Somebody is watching you. Uh, I don't know if you realize it or not. They are watching you, uh -huh. looking at you, looking how hard you work. And they see that they see your strength. They see they, they see your type tenacity. It may be someone you work with or someone who works around you or someone who knows the kind of work that you do. And they see how hard you work and they want to give you some some type of offer. Yeah. They want to communicate with you. They want to communicate with you. They're, they're tired of starting and stopping, starting and stopping, wanting to communicate. I'm going to go say something to her or I'm going to go say something to him, but I'm going to change my mind. I don't want to. I'm going to, nah, I better not. But they're going to get out of that point to where they're, stop, they're going to stop being so um, shy and bring in and, and, and come out to you, to you and ask you something. And here we have a hair. So, so yeah, they, they, they probably really, really like you, 
but they don't really know you. They definitely would like to get to know you because you see these two keys down here. One, two. This could be a person who, who has the key to your heart and you have a key to their heart. And you will probably end up being in a situation to where, hold up. Do you, do you, do you probably going to end up marrying this, this person? Because they, they definitely watch you. <clears throat> and they're probably or maybe a little bit younger than you, or maybe you're, you are a little bit younger than them, but they definitely have something they need to say to you, but they're still thinking about it. Hmm. They are definitely still thinking about it, but they're going to come out of that shyness. They're going to say, I'm, I'm tired of being alone myself. I'm tired of going through what I've been through with my exes. I'm tired of the rough edges of my life. I want to go into a nice, calm, cool, and collected life with somebody who can care about me and with me caring about them. And now we have the Knight of Pentacles. So they're going to come. They're getting stronger and stronger and stronger. It's like... I'm, I got to get, I got, I've got to get up the, nu the nerve to say something to this person. What can I say to this person? What can I say to her? What can I say to him? But whatever it is, I got to find it because this person definitely interests me. And I'm going to find out whether this person has someone in, in, in their life. If not, <clears throat> I want this person in my life. <clears throat> but right now, I got to keep my interest a secret or keep my interest on the down low because I don't know what to say to this person. I got to get some help from my friends or family to see what I can say to this person because I like to see this person work. This person shines at work. This person is is constantly working head to the grind. Always. I see this person working. They don't slack off. They work their butts off. And I see this for myself. So maybe this is somebody you work with in your company. This could even be a delivery person who comes into your office to drop off supplies or refrigerators or whatever, whatever kind of work you do. They probably um, see you sitting at your desk and want to um, talk to you. But what, what can they possibly say? They don't know what to say to you. They're trying to figure out how to, to say something to you. But they've been hurt before. And, at the, and as a matter of fact, they don't want to they don't want to be shot down. They don't want you to sh they don't want you to shoot them down. So, ladies, 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 if you're at work and you see this nice looking driver, nice looking male, male person, uh, what do you call it? UPS driver or whatever. If that person speaks to you, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, maybe they don't want to speak to you Monday. Hey, how you doing? They see somebody coming. OK, you have a good day. And they leave real, real quick because somebody's coming. But then they come back Friday. I, I don't care. I'm gonna, excuse me, ma'am. <clears throat> What's your name? Um, are you married? Are you involved? If not, can can we exchange phone numbers? Because I would definitely like to get to know you. If this person comes to you, strong-willed and your chest sticking out and everything, ladies. Okay, my phone number is five 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 whatever whatever whatever. Okay, get this dude your phone number or vice versa, however it resonates. Because they've been shot down before and they don't want to be shot down before. They don't want to be shot down by you, especially in a place of business. I mean, yeah. Get the phone number. See if, if you click with them, even just the few seconds that you're talking to this person, just don't shoot them down because you just you just don't know. This may be the this may be the one for you. This may be the person who you walk down the aisle with. Don't shoot them down. Just give them a chance. Give it a chance. Because he's going to bring or she's going to bring some joy into your life. The sun card. They're going to bring you every desire or fulfill every desire you ever prayed to God for. I I believe in God, so I will say. God, uh, I don't know what everybody else believes in, but uh, whatever else you believe in, what deity you believe in. But I do believe in God. So you will probably hear me say God in my videos. OK, um, if you don't like that, I'm sorry. That's just me, you know. Um, but anyway, so this here is the sign card. So this person is going to bring you a lot of joy. But if you shoot him down or her down, how is he going to possibly possibly be able to? To fulfill, to, to fulfill all of your needs and desires, the things that you pray to God for. Don't shoot him down. Give him a give him a shooting chance out the gate. That's, a, that's not my type. I don't like him. Just try, how do you know if you never tried it? Give it a, give it a shot. Give it a try. Don't shoot him down because he's been hurt before and so have you. Both of you all are carrying heavy burdens and heavy uh, loads alone, but you all want to combine that. You all want to, to you know what they say, half and half makes a whole. Why keep doing it on your own when you can bring somebody into your life who is equally successful and you all do that, do that together. 
You all carry this load together. Give him half of your load and he can give you half of, half of his load. Then that, lo that load will be a lot lighter because you all will be both carrying each, carrying a side of this load. You don't have to do it all alone. You do it all alone right now because you want to, but you don't have to. Branch out and, and, and try different things and meet different people. It's like lower your standards. I'm not telling you to pick the scum of the earth, but, but at least give the people a, a, a fighting chance out the gate. It'll be different if, if you didn't change, exchange numbers with this person to begin with, but at least change exchange phone numbers and, and let this, this person call you and you all communicate and then go from there. Just give it a, give it a chance because this is the question you want to know. Will I ever get married? How would you ever know if you keep turning people down? Give him a chance or give her a chance. Men, it's not women approach men these days. I approached my last last person I was with. It, it didn't work out, but I approached him. So yeah, we have the Ace of Wands. So this is a this could be a real blessing coming to you, coming to you in your life. All you have to do is just let, let that ego, let that pride go, and, and exchange phone numbers. The Tower card. You're afraid of being hurt. But something is going to, to, to change drastically in your life when it comes to a relationship or, or a new relationship. Maybe there's somebody who's going to come into your life and, um, and and blow your life and just and just surprise you, just shock you, because you all will have so many different things in common. I have here the Queen of Wands, <laughs> and you pay you make sure you pay a lot of attention to what's going on. Uh, I'm going to pay attention to, to make sure this dude ain't, ain't talking to nobody else in the office building. I'm going to make sure that I don't see a, a ring on that finger or what was left of a ring on his finger. I'm going to ask all the questions I need to be sure I'm not wasting my time. And that's good. You don't waste. You don't want your time wasted because you have a lot of stuff going on in your life. You're fruitful. You work a good job. You, you, you like spending time alone, but you do want to add someone in your in your mix so you won't have to spend every Friday night and Saturday night alone. <clears throat> but you want you want to make sure that's the right person. So I have a part that flipped over the strength card and the, the seven of pentacles card. So, yeah, you, you 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 have a lot of strength. You do. You have a lot of fortitude in your life, but you're so concentrated on work. Concentrating on work, busy, 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 working hard for your money, saving your money, putting your money aside because you have stuff going on at home that needs to be repaired. Uh, maybe a roof needs to be repaired. Maybe your gutters need to be repaired or repaired or whatever. But you're working, 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 working. She works hard for the money, and you want somebody to treat you right, and I know that's right. So you work you hard, you work hard for your money, you save as much as you possibly can. But when you when you're on your own and you're doing it all by yourself, <clears throat> if if something breaks down, you have to be the one to come out of your pocket and fix it because you don't have a backup plan. You don't have anybody in your life to help you. And that's what you want. You can do you are more than capable of doing this by yourself. Okay? More than capable of, of making anything possible. Because you've done it before, you've done it all of your life. Now it's time for you to to branch out. It's time for you to spread your wings and fly, and, and hopefully meet that person head to head, so you all can get to know each other, so you all can get to the point to where you want to walk down the aisle together and make it a permanent situation. You have everything you ask for inside of you. You can manifest anything you want. You know, it's like. You have the Midas touch and everything you touch turns to gold because you, you have this power within you. You have this strength in, within you and people see your power. People see your strength. And you've come out of a lot of bad situations. You went through a whole lot of stuff with members of the opposite sex, people arguing with you, fussing and fighting with you, uh, probably cheating on you, getting into it with with a person's ex or, or a baby mama or however you want to put it, some kind of drama. But you've gotten out of this. You don't does you don't you're too good for, for that. You don't need that in your life. And that's why you've been on your own for so long. That's why you've gotten to the point in your life where you're not gonna let the pettiness bother you. Because you're way, way, way beyond that. And you deserve so much better. 
you deserve so much better than you give yourself credit for. But this is going to be some kind of fast communication coming at in at you. So really, really fast. Yep, look, fast communication. <clears throat> Maybe that's something that happened that kind of threw you out that that threw you for a loop or whatever, and you had to get rid of somebody really quick. Or, or they're telling you, well, man, I just got this relationship. There was a lot going on and blah, 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 blah. You know, um, it was about a home. Maybe the person who you are destined to meet just got out of a relationship that went pretty bad. And they're still in the process of healing because it happened really, really quick. But just because they just got out of a relationship doesn't mean they can't get to know you little by little, step by step. No relationship should ever uh, take off and go from zero to 50 in five weeks you know just give it some time give it a chance because it's something this person wants to give you something that he didn't give the person he's running away from he's charging away from this person and wanting to offer something to somebody else possibly you possibly you he wants to offer you something he wants to maybe take you out on a date have a nice dinner um plan something around you so it can cater to your work hours He's wanting to cater to you or vice versa. Uh, however, this video, video resonates male or female. Take your side because both of you had have, have had some sneaky stuff and some sneaky situation and sneaky people in your lives. You don't need that anymore. You're past that point. Yeah, see, you past that point. You don't need that. You know, the, your relationship status is going to change because this is something that <clears throat> that you uh, that you manifested. You've manifested a relationship and one is coming your way really, really soon. A happy home because this person or you went through some shit, went through some stuff right here in this relationship. It blew. Something just blew up. Somebody just broke up with somebody, some fast communication, something happened, some kind of argument or whatever that just blew, just, just blew the relationship out the box ring. And you're not sure, or this person is not sure if he should approach you or not because he's been through so much. If I, if I approach this sexy lady, bam, she's sexy. If I approach her, what is she going to say to me? Is she going to open up to me and say, well, yeah, I can give you my phone number. Let's get to know each other. Or is she just going to diss me and just have me walking away? really really sad <clears throat> because I see this person every day and I think this person is more beautiful every time I see her or handsome every time I see him however it resonates with, with your situation so give this person a chance you know it may be some somebody who you least expect somebody who, who you not you the type of person who you're not used to dating or looking at no that's not my type it may be not it may not be your type but it may be God's type for you or spirit or however you, you want to say this person may leave you a note, a sticky note on your desk and say, I'm sorry I missed you today, but I like looking at you or something. And, and, and oh, yeah, by the way, I'm the UPS man or I'm the mail lady or, or whatever. I, can I, I just and, and here's my number. I'm sorry I missed you, but could you call me at this number, please? Please, please don't diss him. Don't diss her. Just call. Make that phone call. I know your heart has been broke before. Their heart has been broke before. My heart has been broke before. Yeah, but give that person a chance. That you, you don't know what kind of person that is. You don't know what kind of character that person is. Give that person give that person a chance because he could or she could be your ten of cups. Everything you ever wanted, everything you ever asked for, everything you ever desired. Give that person a chance. That's that's that would be rare goal to you. That could be rare gold, 100% pure rare gold. The justice card. Yeah, this is going to be the person for you. See? Everything you've ever wanted, everything you've ever asked for, this person is going to give you and you're going to give to that person. It's going to be totally 100% reciprocated. It's going to be balanced. It's going to be, be totally balanced. It's not going to your life. I need to grow some fingernails. Well, we ain't going to get in there right now, but your life is not going to be unbalanced anymore. It's going to be balanced because you decided to take this person in your life. And this person is going to make some changes in your life. It's going to make some changes in your homestead. They're going to change things for you. They're going to change things for you big time. They're going to give you your happy home. This is what you want, right? A happy home. 
So in order for you to get that happy home, in order for you to uh, get your ten of cups, what do you have to do? Accept that phone number. Accept that date. Talk a little bit. Don't be afraid. Take that up. Take them up on the offer. Take her up on that offer. Okay. Let go of all the past stuff that's happened to you. Life goes on. We've all been hurt. We're probably all nursing our wounds right now. Life goes on. Don't cut this person out. Don't look so mean in the face. Look how mean you're looking. Why are you looking so mean? Don't look so mean. Okay, I know you've been hurt before. So have I. We cut some stuff out of our lives. We've gotten rid of some of the hiccups. Some of the people who have not treated us good. We just came out of our own self and cut these people out of our lives. Yes, we have. Mm, mm, mm. So this here is a reversal, but I said I don't do reversals. So we have here the Empress. You're looking back at what you've been through before. Yeah, I know. Everybody has been hurt before. Crying over past hurts and pains. Bloody, bruised. Heart just won't beat fast enough as it used to. It beats here and it beats there. It doesn't beat, beat, beat like it used to. But if you give your time and balance out your relationship status and get to know this person better who wants to give you this offer, you're going to be able to turn around at those other two cups that are sitting there that's going to bless you tenfold stop worrying about what you lost and the pain and heartache that you have been through or are going through because the person who you're about ready to meet they're going to give you everything you want and desire just give them a chance give them a chance <laughs> give them a chance because you all are going to be wonderful together you all are going to be wonderful together look <clears throat> they love they they are ready to the point to where I can easily love this person. This person is beautiful to me. Beautiful. I see her work ethic. I see his work ethic. Powerful. Did I say beautiful? Yep. This is gonna be the relationship of a lifetime. But don't cut them out. Watch them. They're coming. You probably see them every day, but you probably don't pay attention to them, but they pay attention to you. They pay attention to you, but you constantly at work. You got your head down on your desk working and you don't know who's watching you. Hey, look. Hey, hello. Excuse me. But you're constantly in, in your work concentrating. And they, they dig that about you. I dig that. She works. She pay attention to what she's doing. I dig that. Mm -hmm. I know if I got with this woman, she's going to pay attention to everything I'm doing. But that's a good thing. She's going to keep me on point and I'm going to make sure I keep her on point, too. That's what I'm talking about. Yep, I'm going to do some romance angels to see what else I can come up with. With will I ever get married? At this point in time, I would say yeah, but you have to give it a chance. Give it a chance. Will I ever get married? Spirit guides and angels, will I ever get married? We have here. Love yourself first. And that's what you're doing. You're loving yourself first by working on you, working, getting your life established, getting your uh, jobs established, getting what you want done at work and everything. Yeah, you're loving yourself first. Right. But don't love yourself first and not think about the other part of yourself that wants a mate. Love yourself. Yes. But open up a little bit and let this let a new person into your life because they're coming. They're coming full speed ahead. I keep hearing it. full speed ahead, steam engine coming, high and heavy, so mate. You all will probably go out on your first date and click like a mm-mm. You will click. I don't say nothing about sex, see? I said you're going to click with each other. Maybe kiss, a good night kiss. Nothing's wrong. Nothing is wrong with a good kiss. And you probably will realize that this person is probably a great kisser. Ugh, there's nothing like a good kisser. I had one of those. Mm, okay, anyway, <laughs> I had a great kiss before. I still think about that. That was back in 1997. Uh, uh, uh. It had me against that wall. Anyway, kissing, y'all. Okay, kissing. But anyway, so this is going to be a soulmate for you all. <clears throat> and yes, this is your soulmate. Yeah, a soulmate who likes to... A soulmate who likes romance. You know, I don't remember what movie that was. It may have been... Love Jones or whatever, but 
people don't kiss anymore. The, the kissing has gone out of relationships, it seems. Yeah, you kiss me back and forth when we get off work. I'll go home or, or end our date. But really, just just really, really just wholesome kissing. I mean, it's, it's just it's, kissing brings you closer to the to a person. This person probably, probably, probably yearns for a woman who can really kiss or for a man who can really kiss. I don't, there's nothing like a good kisser. I don't like wet kisses, but these, these are intimate kisses, intimate moments. This will bring you closer and closer to this person. The intimate, the, it's going to be an intimate kind of relationship. The kisses are going to bring you closer together. After you're done kissing each other and, and caressing each other, sex is not involved. But it's just the intimacy. This person is going to be very, very intimate with you. Very, I keep hearing intimate and, and sensual and romantic. And, and, and I hear the word luscious. Maybe they, they'll, they'll tell you you have luscious lips. I'm getting kind of heated too. But anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm getting really, really heat, heated. But this is going to be a hot ass relationship. This, that's exactly what it's going to be. It's going to be hot in a good romantic in a wholesome kind of way, not nothing nasty or anything. You've all known each other before in a past life. So when you see this person or you get to know this person, like, man, I feel so comfortable with you. I feel so comfortable with you. I can, it's like I can tell you my whole life story because it's like I've been here. We've been here before. This person is worth waiting for. And so are you. But you have to realize accept the phone number, accept the dinner date, accept the offer. Because if you accept this offer, look, remember, this is what you want. Okay? You want this. A very fruitful relationship is coming your way. But give it a chance. Give your relationship a chance because divine timing is at work in your love life. You've worked hard. You've proven yourself. You, you've done everything you needed to do except balance out your work and home life. You have to balance this out. But you're trying. You're going to. Once you give up the digits or call this person back, you know, or call this person when he left his number on, his, on your desk for you to call. Free yourself. OK, free yourself from being in the house all alone by yourself watching TV or whatever it is you're doing at home by yourself. Free yourself. Go out and have some fun. Yeah. Retreat. Go out and have some fun with this person. Retreat. Go, go. Take a nice drive to the country, to the winery, or, 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 or do some, some fishing. I hear skeet fishing. Skeet fishing. Where in the hell did that come from? Skeet fishing. If you like skeet fishing, huh, whatever. Anyway, so wine country, skeet fishing, feed the ducks in the park. I don't know. Just go out and retreat with this person and have a good time. Why did I, why did I get skeet fishing from? So I guess that's for somebody who likes skeet fishing. I don't know. Take her on a date. Maybe she'll like skeet fishing. Or maybe she will surprise you and say, hey, let's go skeet fishing on our first date. I got to look skeet fishing up. I've only seen that on Andy Griffith. But anyway, <clears throat> keep an open mind. I said this earlier. This person might be different than different than the person who you, you're used to dating. And, and codependency, you're probably used to people being a little um, controlling. Or maybe you're controlling or too controlling in some ways. And if you are, you need to maybe work on that because you don't want to scare the person away or 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 it'd be a red flag, which of course may come on soon with that. But if you see any red flags and you know, oh, man, I better back up. I better not push this person away by being too pushy with this person. I got to give this person a chance. Let me relax. Let me calm down. Let me allow this person to call or you call that person. But don't be so pushy about it. Don't be so needy. With the person who is coming your way. And you've seen this person before. They, or should I say they've seen you on more than one, one occasion. Or maybe you just go to a grocery store to get groceries and you see the, the checkout guy or, or the guy at the meat counter or whatever. And this guy, whoever, this person has been noticing you. They're been, they've been wa literally watching you. But they watch you in, a, in, a, um, in an admirable way. They, they don't say, well, ooh, I like that. I want to hit that. They don't. They, they watch you in a way like I can take that person home to my family. I can take that person home to my mother, you know, and, and they are already passionate about you because they, they see they see your goods. They see your face, how beautiful you are, and they probably imagine themselves being with you, kissing on you, having a nice time together. They're, they're very, very. Um, I want to I want to say they're clairvoyant. I don't know where I got that from out of this card, but. 
yeah they it's like they notice they know your insights they know it's like they know a part of your spirit already it's like they they you're connected to this person and you don't even realize it they feel your energy i don't know why well, i get that they're very very clairvoyant And, and yeah, make that effort. You have to make sure you make that effort. I've been saying this throughout the whole reading. Accept that phone number. Accept that invitation on a date. Okay? Accept. Make that effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Take. Make that effort. Okay? And playfulness. Well, like I said earlier, it's, it's, it's a lot of passion there. A lot of sensual energy between you two. A lot of kissing. A lot of hugging. The romance will be back in your life. And to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. It already shines. They already see your spirit. That's why they're interested in getting in contact with you to talk to you because they already know what kind of person you are. They want to make you a part of their life, a part of their family. You know, and y'all probably will have children, 2.2 kids, the white picket fence, the dog. You'll probably have it all because this is exactly what you've been asking God for or the universe for or the spirit for whatever you resonate with. Yeah, let go of control issues. Don't don't be too pushy. I hope this person who comes into your life isn't too pushy. It gets to the point to where you see this coming. Just back up and tell this person to hold on a minute. Just slow down. You know, nothing. There's nothing wrong with telling the person to slow down, or maybe they'll tell you that. Don't don't and for whatever reason, don't require this person to do so much or to do almost everything in a relationship by themselves there has to be a point to where you you're doing this and they join that or or whatever make sure you don't push this person away by putting on by putting them through too much too much unnecessary mess too much uh, uh, too much nagging is what i'm getting don't nag this person don't don't berate this person respect each other respect each other I have here attraction and stay optimistic about your love life. This person is already attracted to you. And I'm sure you'll be attracted to this person once you get to know this person. You just haven't noticed this person because you're, you've been grinding. You've been concentrating on your work. That's why you haven't noticed this person. But you will. But you will notice this person. <laughs> it's safe for you to love because you know why it's safe for you to love? Because a wedding is coming. OK, a wedding is coming your way. You see that? It's safe for you to love. <laughs> the situation involves marriage. So when this dude or this dudette comes up to you, don't, don't be in your pride and don't take this person's phone number. Take this person's phone number. Take this person's um, invitation because it's going to involve marriage. It's going to involve marriage. But you have to make sure you trust yourself enough to say well okay i'm going to trust myself enough to get to know this person because i know i asked the universe i asked god and i asked this the question when will i ever be married i asked the question will i ever be married at the beginning of the reading because i've always been wanting to know will i ever get married i'm too old to not be married or to have never been asked to be married so now i'm asking that question again will i ever get married and look so i would say yes I would say yes. I mean, there's nothing else to say here. But yes, will I ever get married? Yes. I'm going to get this other part too. Reconciliation. So you probably have spent time with this person before in a past life. And you're probably just repeating the stuff that you all have went through. If you probably known each other before or, or there's something about this person that you're going to recognize. <clears throat> but you will be married. To, you will get married to this person. And you all are going to have a very nice, intimate, diplomatic relationship where that came from. I don't know. But, yeah, you're going to you're going to end up getting married to this person. But take that leap of faith. OK, so <clears throat> I'm going to say this as early as I possibly can. I'm going to be the first person to say that. Congratulations on your engagement. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it resonated. It was a little fun for me to do. It wasn't all um, deep and sorrowful. It was very, very uplifting. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe button. And also do me a favor and pass it on to your friends. See you all later. Bye.